This video is going to demonstrate how to set up conditional logic in templates so that it's applied when filling out surveys. To begin, I am in the templates tab and I'm going to click edit next to the template I want to add some logic to. For this tutorial, I'm going to add it to my outreach template. So I've pre-added in my questions and I added in four different sections, as you can see here, that I want to apply some logic to. The two questions that when they get answered are going to de determine whether or not sections are seen are vehicle use, which is a checkbox type question, and event type, which is a select type question with a custom option list. And I added my three options here, school group, community day, and conference slash presentation. So to begin, I'm going to add logic to my first section here, vehicle used. So when you click this down arrow, you're going to see the details pop up for this entire section and I'm able to add a rule here. So click add expression and then you can begin to fill in your if and then section for this specific section. So if my checkbox question vehicle used is true, so that box is checked, then I want this section to show in the form. So it's going to autofill show in form and I need to scroll down to display settings to uncheck the default show in form. So the difference is for conditional logic, when you set the if, so if vehicle use is true, then this section will show in the form show, or show in the survey. The next one, numbers served, clicking the down arrow, adding our rule, adding our expression, if, for this one, it's going to be the different, it's going to be the select question. So if my select question, so if event type equals school group, then show in form. Again, unchecking the default display setting show in form there. So a cool feature to know about is this copy button. So clicking this copy button will copy this expression you typed here so that you're able to apply it to different sections. So for example, going to the next one, volunteers, adding our rule. If you click paste expression, you're gonna see it auto fills the expression field with the expression that I copied from the previous question. So now I can go in ahead and edit to make this expression unique to this section. So event type equals community day. Then I want it to show in the form. And you see I can how I click this plus sign. So this is the formula builder. So you can build your expression either by clicking the plus signs and the buttons or if you click enter expression, you're going to see this drop down pop up where you can also populate your expression here. So event type equals community day, then show in form, again unchecking my default setting, show in form. And this one also has similar logic, so we're going to add our rule to this section and paste my expression. Again, just switching out the option. If you make an error or you add an incorrect button and you want to remove it, you can click the X and you can also reorganizing organize your tiles by dragging and dropping them. This one again, unchecking show and form. So that's how to show or hide a section or you can set or a question using conditional logic. Click save. Formula invalid, see what's wrong. Oh, see, I removed the wrong tile. So go ahead, fix it. Click save. You can also set up logic to do math for you. So for example, for this question, total volunteer hours, if you go to the conditional logic tab and add a rule, you can set it up so that this question, the results are number of volunteers times work hours. So it'll autofill the this question with the this results. So we're going to set this to read only so that the users don't have the ability to edit this number. It'll just auto do the math for you. One other question section or question that math can be applied is total numbers served here. So for this one, going to the conditional logic tab, adding my rule, and we want the results to be the sum of students plus teachers plus other faculty and staff. Again, making it read only, click save. Once you get your logic all set up, go to your template or go to your survey and add a new survey and make sure that your logic works correctly. 
So our first question we added, added logic to was vehicle used. So when I check it, you see this vehicle used section pops up. So that's working great. For event types, we have our three different answers that should result in three different sections popping up. So school groups, numbers served pops up. And you see when we begin filling in numbers here, total numbers served auto sums. Community day, again, this one had some math in it. So we have our volunteers adding work, num work hours, total volunteer hours automatically does the math for you. And perfect. You see all the logic work just as we hoped. Um, and yeah, in short, that is how to add lo some conditional logic to a template so that it's applied to the survey. And this logic works both on the web and on mobile. So if you guys have any questions, please let us know and we're happy to assist. Thanks for listening.